Are you a professional gas fitter? Have you got all the qualifications to fix gas leaks? Can you fit central heating? Or are you an idiot who hasn't got a clue what you're talking about or what you're doing when it comes to gas? Like me. If you just if you are one of the second things, you need one of these in your life. That's what you need because this is going to help us out a lot. Right. We got sent two of these babies. These are combustible gas leak detectors. Okay? We're going to do uh, a little review on it for you. So this is this could be the product which you the biggest waste of money of your life because hopefully you're never going to need it. But it's something you should have. I'm down here, Mazzy. Thank you. <laughs> uh, okay. It's something you should have in your van just in case. Now, there's many times everyone's had it who's got a, a motorhome, a van. Everyone has a point. Can you smell gas? We do it all, all the, time. the time. Yeah. You know, it could be someone in the van next door is having a barbecue and you get a whiff of it, of yeah. the gas. But you smell gas all the time and you panic. I yep. really panic. We both do. <laughs> um, same with fire. If you smell a fire outside, you're thinking, what's on fire, what's on fire? And I really panic. Um, so, let's make sure we haven't got any... I'm down here, Mazzy. <laughs> let's make sure we haven't got any gas leaks using this baby. So, this is from a company called Toptez. Okay? This is the simplest product to review ever. It is so easy. Let's open it up, see what you get. A user manual and a gas detector. Not only that, you actually get a bag and you get batteries. Ooh. Duracell. Two AAA Duracells included in the box, which is a rarity nowadays. So, put the box to one side. I'm going to show you how to set it up, what to do, and show you how this could be handy in your life to make sure you, your van is safe from blowing up from a gas leak. So, batteries, I need to get them open. This is gonna be hard, isn't it? No, 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 straight away, straight away. Uh, two, two AAA batteries. You take the top off, you're gonna to have to zoom in on this, Mazzy. You take the top off, positive goes face down one two top back on now press the red button to turn it on now can you see that Mazzy? I yeah. don't know if it's going to show through there yeah. um, it's actually collaborating I think it takes about 45 seconds it's going to collaborate the air make sure there's no gas in, in the environment and then you can start testing with it, yeah? In the meantime, I'll just show you this wonderful little bag it comes with. I like that, it's cool. It's nice, it's like a suede yeah. little bag. So, you know, just get one of these, put it in the bag, keep it in the back with your tools and things. Yeah. It's gonna come in, you know, it's gonna come in as a, what's the word, a god save? Well, it's like a having a fire extinguisher, isn't it? It's one of those products where, oh. There you go, it's beeped twice so it's ready to test now. Yay! Uh, and you have to do that every time you turn it on, it will collaborate 45 seconds, beep twice, and then it's ready to test. Yeah, it's one of them products, same as a smoke detector, carbon monoxide detector, yeah. fire extinguisher, fire blanket, yeah. all these things you should have in the van. And especially if you are in a, a a camper van or a motorhome you really should have yeah. something to test your gas because a lot of things are running off gas yeah okay even in the home this is good for in the home as well it is good for in the home yeah it is good for i can't remember the price on these i'll be completely honest with you i'll put a link in the description where you can get these from i think top of me top of my head i'm going to say about 25 quid Ooh. something like that it's a must but it's you know, cheap is your van or motorhome worth 25 quid? I would your say life. yes. Your life. <laughs> and as I say, it might be 25 quid you, you're giving to someone and they're giving you this and you're just putting it away and you never see it again. Hopefully. 
<laughs> that's what you're hoping for so let's give this a little test it's very simple I'm just going to open this door so I'm going to turn the gas on now let's start with the gas hob all collaborated so all we all we have to do is get some gas to see if it's going to work now it comes with two settings low and high I don't really see why you'd want it in a low surely high yeah, means higher sensitivity more sensitivity yeah I'd um, have it in high all the time wouldn't you there's obviously a purpose for it anyway yeah low high I'm gonna have it on high the actual in uh, indicator um, gas stick gas stick <laughs> dibby dabby <laughs> The actual what? dibby dabby is on the end here. <laughs> yeah, let's have a look. What is the it? The indicator. I don't know what you call it. It's doing me head in now. I can't see it really. It's just that. It's just a little thing on the end. Yep. Mm -hmm. And that's what's going to test to see if you've got any gas. So we're going to turn the gas stove on, see if anything comes out. Hang on, do I have to hold yeah, that in? Yeah, you have to hold it. Immediately, away. it's gone on to full and it's going down as I've turned the gas off yeah no more gas as simple as that so you know that if you've got a gas leak it's going to pick it up i think what we should do is just test it on the gas bottles Mazzy. yes come on <laughs> definitely the reason i want to test it on the bottles is for the exactly the same reason as everyone else thinks when you are fitting your bottles and you're using your spanner you always think have i done it tight enough Mm. Have I done it tight enough? Or you could have a leak in your pipes, anything. You can. People do, you know, they say put some uh, soapy water on and you can see the bubbles coming out to see if there's any gas coming out. Yeah. But the best way is, use one of these every time you change your gas bottle. Yes, bottom. bit of a messy job doing it the other way, isn't it? So at the moment, mm. we have not got a gas leak. Yay! Yay. I did something right. Yay! <laughs> so... The only way to test it... Oh, no, you're scaring me now. In fact, I'm not going to undo it. There's no need to. If I undo that... No, it's I'm, I'm going to have to. I'm, it's obviously going to bleep, though, isn't I'm going to have to undo it. Let me go do and get a spanner. Do it a tiny little bit. So I'm just going to undo it slightly, see if it picks anything up. Like as if it's a tiny leak, yeah? Yeah, now it's always the opposite way, isn't it? So it's not that way, it's that way. Oh. I always have to try and remember this. Now, this actually got given to me i think by neil from urban van life who was also oh. in a review of this yeah he has yeah uh, go, go over and check, check his out, out. yeah uh, so and oh neil it's too long <laughs> <laughs> i normally use this why can't i get it in at the moment i don't know we've got a we've, got, we've actually got a bigger canister it is a big one yeah i can't get it in uh, come here Right, I've worked it out. <laughs> That's how my spanner has to go. So I'm going to hold the indicator up here and I'm just going to undo it and see if anything comes out. If I can, I've done it tightly. Ooh. Straight away. Straight away, yep. Whack! Get it off! I need to tighten it, Mazzy. In fact, I'm going to turn it off. No, I can't turn it on. I'm panicking just now. Just quickly do it out. It's still going. Right, I've turned it off. Oh yeah, it smells. So hopefully that's going to calm down in a second. I'm sorry. <laughs> I nearly blew us up then. There's still a lot of gas around, Mazzy. Here we go. There. Panic over. Panic over. Thank God we had that. <laughs> <laughs> so now I need to tighten it back up. Yes. Going the. It's that way, isn't it? It's very often you have to do this. This is why you forgot. You forget yourself, don't you? Whoa. <laughs> yeah, because uh, sometimes, because with gas you have to go the opposite way to uh, normal screw threads. I sometimes worry that I've done it wrong. So I've done that. Let's open it up. Quick double check. Yes. Is that open? It's open. No All's leak. good. No gas leaks. Whew. One other thing it's going to be very useful for as well, as Maz has just pointed out, is barbecues. 
Yes. Specifically barbecues, because with barbecues you're doing exactly the same thing with your gas bottles, but you you are going to set a fire on there. Yeah. So you want to make sure there's not a leak before you put a flame to it. Live and learn, because this actually happened with you. <laughs> it has happened with yes, me, yes. Thank God it didn't blow. <laughs> Could have been a lot worse. Yeah. We should have had one of these, but I didn't. Yeah. And it wasn't my fault, actually. It was a faulty pipe, wasn't it? A well, you didn't know that because you didn't have that. Because I didn't have this. <laughs> so, the only problem with this I've found is it does cut your hand. Oh, how have you done that? Neil's screwdriver thing. <laughs> Don't be blaming poor Neil. Neil's spanner. Oh, bless him. It's um, Neil's fault. <laughs> <laughs> so, it is as simple as that. So, I'm going to turn that off now. Next time we turn it on, it's going to start collaborating again for 45 seconds. Yeah. Beep twice, use it again. That is going to go in its little pouch yeah. and in with our safety equipment and tools. And remember, this isn't just for motorhome and fans. If you've just moved house, you've got some, your neighbour to come round and fit your gas cooker, just double check it. <laughs> double know, check it. <laughs> I am a complete idiot when it comes to anything like smoke detectors, carbon monoxide detectors, gas, things like that. I have no idea about any of it. But everyone's heard of a smoke detector and a carbon monoxide detector. I've yeah. never really heard of a gas no. leak detector. No, I haven't. I, I knew they were on the market somewhere, but I didn't realise. I thought it was just for professionals. You don't think it's something you need in your life, do you? Well, you don't think it's something the general public have. You think just gas fitters and stuff have them. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> fantastic product. We did actually get sent to. Now, did think about doing a giveaway for this. But I'll tell you what we're going to do. We've done this with another product in the past. We're going to give this to Neil, the campsite warden at the nurseries, because he's the warden there. He'll have hundreds of vans going there all through this season. And if anyone starts saying this can smell gas, uh, it can help them out and just check yeah. it for them. It's always handy just to have in the drawer, isn't I th I it? I think the other thing we, we gave him was... Uh, something to, to jump start up. your batteries yeah, which was amazing um, yeah. it's just nice to give a campsite that you know so they can help so you're other helping people. more than just one yes <laughs> yeah so that is our review of the top tes uh, yes. combustible gas leak detector pt210 impressed glad we've got it feel safer but i've still got a very very cut hand that's your fault <laughs> thank you for watching see you on the next one bye bye bye